What's up guys, I'm Tommy and welcome to Tommy Tech Outdoors. Today I'm gonna to show you my kayak fishing setup on my 2020 Hobie Pro Angler 360. So stay tuned. So on this channel, I do a lot of how-tos, reviews, and sharing my experiences fishing, crabbing, kayaking, boating, and just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors. So if those interest you, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below, and click that notification bell so you know when I upload new content. All right guys, so we're gonna start from the front. Um, you can see here I've got the front hatch. Pretty much store a lot of miscellaneous stuff in here. It's a huge hatch. You can see I got some soft plastics in there. A um, bunch of other junk. I'm not sure what else I'll put in here. I'll probably put my first aid kit in there at some point. And then here starting on the left side, since I'm here, um, you can see on the track I used to have um, my fish finder right here, but uh, it was actually a bad spot because uh, sitting over there um, it's quite a ways to get over here and i can't really see it because it's pretty far if i have it right here so what i've done is end up getting one of those ramble h rails this is like a one and a half inch put my fish finder here so it's closer to me um, and again that's attached right to the h rail and then we've got a H rail mount. Uh, this is the mighty mount, and then on top of that, I've got the base for the uh, Yak Attack lock and load, and then the Omega Pro rod holder here. Uh, the nice thing with this rod holder, let's see if I can get this in the shot. One end is that you can. So, like, if I were trolling, this is probably how I'd have it. But if I want to use it if i'm like snakehead fishing or whatever i'd probably move this up a little bit but i can just press this in turn it locks right in and then i can have my rods facing forward instead Here's an example it's not totally forward but you get the idea and then if i want to troll i can easily push this in Ooh, that's not good and that locks right in. And I'm in a trolling position with my rod holder. But let's keep moving back. On the edge rail, you can see I've got the nice mini tray. I'll probably put my pliers on this, I'm not sure. I just got this, this is brand new, so we'll have to see what I'm gonna do with that. Um, but moving back up, to my hatch right now I've got actually this is actually the uh, tray for my 2019 Outback I'm actually gonna do a DIY tray for this one but uh, yeah well um, I'll show you that in a future video um, it should be coming up pretty soon then under my seeds be better on this side you can see I've got it's actually more to the side actually I've got the it's got my grips here um, right here is my stringer you can see it fits nicely in there then underneath for now until I um, figure out what I'm going to do with my tackle situation I just put two boxes here just to kind of show you you can fit quite a bit under here. My second one's back there too. Let me screw that. Let's go over here. So on that side, you can see you get stacked quite a bit in there. Then I've got my my fish stick here. This is that controversial one because it bends out, but 
I do fish tournament, I'll get an appropriate uh, measurement tool. Um, and let's keep moving further back. You can see here I've got this 30 quart ingle cooler. Um, this came from my Outback. I actually really like this. I may eventually get a crate because I think it's a little too bulky, but it works great. You can see you can have a lot of rods. There's, you know, rod holders. There's two on each side. And then you can see I've got this rocket launcher that I've also built. This actually came from my 2016 Outback. And then I moved it to my 2019 and then now my Pro Angler. I did promise you guys I was gonna show you how to make one. Um, Cause you could see here actually all I did was I extended it by just cutting the pipe here. Just making a longer one. That's how I was able to fit it to my uh, Pro Angler. It's quite windy out here. Sorry for the wind. But I will show you guys how to make this. This is actually one and a quarter inch PVC, which fits and it's loose. And that's why I actually have it bungeed down. So I have this bungeed down to the, uh, goes over the PVC uh, rocket launcher and also my angle cooler. So if I were to flip, it would kind of keep it in, hopefully. And then this back area, it's humongous. Um, this is where my big speed jet, I don't have it um, plugged in, but this is where the battery would go. Actually, I actually have two batteries. So I have to figure out a way to secure them better. Um, and then moving back, you can see I've got the power pole mounting plate here. And then that, on top of that attaches the uh, Yak Gadget power pole mount for the Bixby Jet. And then there's my Bixby Jet. With the pole steering, I actually forgot to put the pole in. Uh, let me stop it real quick. I'll get the pole so you guys can see what that looks like. All right, so I've got the pole steering in just so you guys can see what it looks like. You can see it's uh, Right here, I can actually adjust it because it's just a painter pole. Right there, you can see the adjustment. But you can see it easily steers. Um, I actually do have a video showing this in action. As you can see, with all my stuff, I can still steer it pretty easily and seamlessly. This is the uh, probably the easiest steering solution. Um, that I kind of like. I will try to attach it to the rudder steering at some point, but uh, let's continue with the tour. So here's my rocket launcher again. Uh, I will show you another video showing my driving setup, but this union that's right here, this um, allows me to attach my uh, prop stick, which comes out for crabbing to run a trot line, but I'll, again, I'll show you that in a future video. And then this is a new thing I just got. Um, have yet to try it, but this is the uh, Yak Attack Boom Pole. Um, right now I've got uh, the Fusion on it right now. Uh, might get a, or I am getting a Max pretty soon. And I traded my DJI Osmo that's got water in it. But this is a pretty nice boom pole. Um, it should get some pretty cool perspectives, especially when I got the 360 going on. So uh, stay tuned for some future videos on that. Um, I'll show you guys another video showing my whole camera setup. So I've got quite a few going on here. Um, and then on this side of the H rail, on the right side, all I've got is another rod holder. Again, that has the mighty mount. H rail with the base on it, the lock and load base. And then I like these Omega Pros. These are pretty nice. Um, I haven't trolled for big rockfish on them yet, so we'll have to see how it handles when a big rockfish like slams his back. So I'll put a lanyard on it just to make sure I don't lose anything. Um, and then you can see here on the front, uh, this might change as well because I may actually get a different mount for this. This is the Rail Blaza boom pole. 
right now it's got my uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black on it, and then that's a uh, refuel battery pack. I think I can get like seven to nine hours. I think it's seven with shooting in 1080p. But uh, this boom pole, it's worked great, but I've actually almost lost this GoPro Hero 7 from turning it, because this base will actually turn when you like move it around and move it back. That's the cool thing is, you know, you can move it around. So I could easily, you know, check it um, but uh, we'll see I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but it's worked great so far um, I did put a lanyard start putting a lanyard on it um, just in case it fell again because it fell and uh, it's pretty scary I almost lost this whole thing including the pole but um, and then the other camera that I do use uh, again I'll do another video on this is just the action hat um, you can see it's got beat up. It's got a lot of sun on it. It's fading, but uh, this is uh, how I do all of my filming when I'm on the water. And then now we're back at the front, and that's uh, pretty much everything. That's my kayak fishing setup on my 2020 Hobie Pro Angler 360. All right, guys. So that was the tour of my kayak fishing setup on my. 2020 Hobie Pro Angler 360. Um, this is just kind of an initial setup because this will be actually the first uh, full year I'll be getting out of it to do, you know, all the different types of fishing that I do because um, I didn't really get to do it because I kind of got it um, towards the end of the season and then I just started using my boat more just because it was getting too cold to use this and the fish were further out and uh, it didn't really make sense to um, use a kayak. But um, stay tuned because um, I will have a lot more videos coming up using this to go fishing. Uh, snakehead fishing is actually starting up so I'm really gearing to do that and then also going to hopefully try to get into some of the uh, spring uh, striped bass that are uh, coming through. But um, I also will show you guys my crabbing setup pretty soon because um, that'll start uh, picking up in the next couple months as well. Um, this is actually really great. The 360 is awesome for crabbing. So um, stay tuned for that video as well. And uh, if you guys have any comments or questions about the setup or the 360, let me know in the uh, comments section below. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.